What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of the Coin Set Showcase. Now, as the title was given away, today's video is a US proof set. Um, generally, it's been UK proof sets for this series, but we have had a couple of overseas ones. I think we had Malta and Cyprus so far. Um, but yeah, I thought we'd mix it up with the US set today. Uh, let's get into it. And this is a base proof, a base metal proof set. And this is from 1981, of course. Now with these, they slide out like this. So you can have a little look at them. And then this acts as a stand as well. So you can display them if you want to on your shelf or in your in your display cabinet. But let's ditch this bit for now and concentrate on the coins. Um, this set was minted in numbers of just over 4 million, 4 million 63,083. And of course these all have an S mint mark on them. Let's look at the uh, Quite tricky to see the uh, the finish on them is so shiny it's actually hard to see but they all have an s mint mark on them which denotes that they were minted in san francisco of course um between 1968 and 1974 coins were minted in san francisco for circulation as well but post 1975 anything with an s mint mark is a proof i believe so yeah this is 1981 set and let's get into each coin, shall we? Of course, we've got the one cent. It's Abraham Lincoln there, the 16th president of the US. Lovely finish on it. Of course, it says, in God we trust at the top there. You'll see a lot of running themes with their coinage. Um, e pluribus. Uh, Unum is always ever present. Just about see it there above the Lincoln Memorial. So that's that is the Lincoln Memorial there on the reverse. And then we move on to the Jefferson Nickel. Five cents. And this has Monticello or Monticello which was Jefferson's home and plantation in Virginia. And he was the third president. That's not him. There we go. <laughs> and that's Thomas Jefferson. And then we move on to the dime. And this is Mr. Franklin D. Roosevelt, who was the 32nd president of the US. And on the reverse of this one, we've got an olive branch, which denotes peace, a torch for liberty, and an oak branch for victory. And then we move on to the quarter. And this is probably one of the most recognizable designs of US coinage, I think. Most people would know that's a quarter when they see it. Of course, now you get all the stake and park quarters, which are coming out now and have been for a few years, quite a long series there. But this, of course, is the standard design with the eagle there. And on the obverse of this one, we, of course, have Mr. George Washington, who was the first president of the United States of America between 1789 and 1797. Again, they're in God We Trust on the left, Liberty at the top. Running theme through their coinage for sure. And then we have the half dollar. Of course, John F. Kennedy. I think this one you can really appreciate the frosted finish on the portrait. There we go, that's not a bad angle, is it? Lovely frosted finish on it. 
and a decent portrait, I think, anyway, that one. Detail in the hair and that, lovely. But yeah, John F. Kennedy, 35th president, and then the reverse. There's a slightly adapted presidential seal there with the American Eagle, and 13 olive branches and arrows. It's not 13 branches, actually. It's 13 leaves, I think, and 13 olives on the branch. Um, in, in the claw on the left, I was going to say in his left claw, but technically that'd be his right claw because he's facing us. <laughs> and then on this side, we've got 13 arrows, and of course, olives for peace, arrows for war when necessary, I guess. And 13 is always a number because that's the number of original states in the US. And then finally, we have this one dollar. Um, which was slightly controversial upon its release because, let's just look at the obverse first, it does have Susan B. Anthony on there, which I believe, this might be wrong, but every, everything else up to this point was generally um, presidential. Of course, Susan B. Anthony was a women's rights activist, a huge part of the suffragette movement in the US, um, absolute legend, and rightly deserves to be on a coin in my opinion, but... When this was first uh, released, it, it didn't go down well and was only released for three years before we being withdrawn. Um, and it was minted again, though, in 1999. But yeah, Susan B. Anthony, a legend of um, women's rights. And then on the reverse of the $1, it's quite a cool design as well, this one, I think. And this is the Apollo 11 mission symbol, which of course is the eagle landing on the lunar surface there. And you can see the Earth in the background. Of course, Apollo 11 carried Neil Armstrong and the team, Buzz Aldrin, up to the moon and took our first men to the moon from Earth. And again, rightly deserves to be on a coin, in my opinion. But there we go. That's the six coins in this US proof set from 1981. Um, I actually got this as part of another big set that I bought, and it was mostly the, the UK proof sets I got, but this was in with it. So I thought, why not? I will have that as well. I don't think it's, a, it's too bad of a set, and these are pretty cheap to pick up. Um, I've seen some bargains going for around £10, but you're probably looking at about £15, I think, to buy one of these on eBay. But yeah, what's your favourite coin? I think the Susan B. Anthony one, especially the, the reverse iconic design. But what do you think? Can you pick a favourite of those? Let me know what other coin sets you'd like to see, if there's anything specific. Um, hope you enjoyed it. It's something a bit different rather than the UK sets constantly. I'm sure next time we'll get you a nice UK set, though, with um, some coins that most of us are more familiar with, I guess. But thanks for watching. Hope everyone's staying safe. Come back next time for some more coiny goodness. See you all later.